Hey guys, it's Kip for Famous by Friday Pickleball. I've got a brand new paddle to review, the new Body Helix X4. Really have liked Body Helix paddles in the past. The X2 is in my bag, so I'm really anxious to get out and hit Body Helix new paddle, the X4. The X4 does come in two versions, the 14 millimeter and the 16 millimeter. The 14 millimeter weighs eight ounces, while the 16 millimeter weighs right at 8.4 ounces. They both are very evenly balanced, have just a great feel. Structurally, they're identical. They have the, the core is a polymer honeycomb core. The face is a raw toric carbon fiber and it really has a nice, just nice feel to it. I bet the ball's gonna really spin, but I don't know that yet. I'm going out there. Both these paddles are thermoform. They have an 11 layer composite to them with six layers of Torre carbon fiber. These paddles are put together thermoform with a combined heat and cold process. They're hot and cold pressed. It, they are unibody. They do have foam around the perimeter and the handle is a carbon forged handle. So they should really, the ball should come off of here so sweet. They both are hybrid shapes, 16 and a quarter inch long, seven and a half inches wide, five and a half inch grip with a four and a quarter inch circumference. Very excited to get out and hit these paddles. I, like I said, I, I love the body helix paddles in the past, so I'm very anxious to get out and hit these. Headed out to the court right now. Hope you're gonna be there. You can help me hit these and, and see what you think. The bo new body helix X4, 14 millimeter, and 16 millimeter. All right, guys, I'll be back. Oh, go ball. Okay guys, I got the Body Helix X4. This is a 16 millimeter. I love the Body Helix X2, big fan. So I might just see what this one will do. All right, going after the cone. Very nice, very nice. Let me jump on it just a little bit, get it back to that cone. Yeah, this gives you just instant kind of confidence that you can go after your target like that a lot. Yeah, the wind came up right when I hit that. But still, 
even with the wind and it kind of knocked down the depth of that ball, it still went on target and it was still a really nice serve. Okay. Okay, let me try and spin a couple. Body Helix X4, 16 millimeter. Let's do this. Oh, wow. That was really nice. Really nice. Good spin. I expected that, but it's good spin. Still good to see. Oh, that was nice too. Once again, those balls were on target, spun, had a nice hop at the end. Very nice body helix. Another good paddle, the X4. Very good. Okay, body helix, X4, 14 millimeter. Going after that cone. Not bad. Not bad. It's a little bit lighter than I'm used to using, so, so it doesn't have the plow through kind of. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a little bit in front just timing wise. Let me go after that cone. Yeah, I'm a little bit in front. The paddle's going through a little bit quicker than I'm used to. So my timing is just a hair off. Let me adjust that. See if I can knock that cone off of there. Everything's going straight. Everything's wildly consistent. Is that a term? Just because the timing is just a little bit off with this. Okay, let me try and spin this a little bit. This is a good paddle. This is a timing because it's, it's light. It's just a hair off. All right. Body Helix X4, 14 millimeter. Let's spin it. Nice. Once again, a little bit, it's a little bit light, so I'm not getting the plow through I'm used to. I don't have the mass behind my shots. Still, that's got nice bend. I like both these paddles, but right away, I would migrate toward the 16 millimeter. This fits my game a little bit better, but both of these paddles have game. That was really nice. Hey guys, back. Just spent the last few weeks getting to know the new Body Helix X4. I'm only gonna really discuss the 16 millimeter version of this because it fit my game so much better than the 14 millimeter. The 14 millimeter has game and it has all the attributes that I'm about to talk about, but the 16 millimeter was just more of everything good. For me, once again, for, there's 14 millimeter paddles out there. They fit other, other people's games really well. The 16 millimeter version of this really fit mine. I'm gonna bounce through all the things that this paddle does well, and there are a lot of them. This paddle is very accurate. It's very easy to control. It is just, it just buttery with control almost. It gives you confidence to put the ball wherever you want. So it's very consistent with the accuracy and control. Very nice depth, easy depth on serves, returns, plus great touch as well. This paddle also had surprise, I'm a little bit surprised the power this paddle had. It topped out over average at 50.8 miles per hour on serves. I was a little bit shocked at that. I didn't add any weight to this. It is 8.4 ounces and I didn't add a bit of weight to it. And it really just knocked the serves out of the park. Very cool, but it's controllable power. You're not getting flyers. You're not getting, you know, just balls that really just jump off the face and going way out. It's very controllable power, but very nice, smooth, silky power. Spin off this paddle is incredible. It does it so well, so easy, but once again, it's controllable spin. You can park that ball where you want with top spin, side spin, whatever. Very plush feel, like I said. Great feedback, very large sweet spot. Good defense to offense. It's even quick at the net because it, even at 8.4 ounces, it's very evenly balanced. Very easy to maneuver. This paddle just does everything well. The only thing I have, I'm, I'm used to hitting a 16 and a half inch paddle. This is a six, it's, it's a hybrid shape, it's 16 and a quarter. That's the only thing I really, I had to adjust to. And in time I could really adjust to that and get that ball right there in the sweet spot where I'm expecting that sweet spot to be. This paddle is exceptional. I like this paddle a lot. It really does everything well. I, once again, Body Helix has come up with just a great paddle. The dwell time on here is really, really good. That complements the spin. Once that goes, that goes back to the six layers of Torre carbon fiber that are built into this with the 11 layers composite. This paddle is incredible. I, it's just as smooth as butter. You can do so many things with it. I liked it a lot. I'm gonna to touch on something else that might be 
it's a, it's not a, it won't affect your play it won't affect you know performance anything like that but this paddle cover even though it's just a head cover but it might be the nicest cover i've ever i know i've ever seen or felt this inside here is just really soft one of the one of the girls in one of my clinics said she wanted to wear this it is really nice uh once again and it comes with the paddle what's you don't have to buy it extra it comes with the paddle body helix bravo again i like this paddle a lot if you haven't tried any body helix paddles i i just implore you to try them and find the one that kind of fits your game they all do things so well all right guys i don't have any negatives on this paddle at all i just like it a lot the only minor negative would for me was i'm used to a 16 and a half inch paddle and this is a 16 and a quarter that's the only thing with me. Everything else is just absolute gold. Bravo again, Body Helix. Great job. All right, guys. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment. If you tried any Body Helix paddles, what you think, what you like, great job. You're going to hear more from this company. I know it. All right, guys. I'll be back with more content soon. Get out and play.